walk out? Well, enough is enough. We've watched governments not seriously come here with mandates to build a platform towards 2015 and an ambitious global agreement. It was shocking for us to see in the wake of the IPCC report, the strongest yet, the frightening sense that the time frame we have with over half of our carbon budget used is coming on us very quickly. And yet, governments actually lowered their mandate to Australia, Japan, uh, and of course Canada. These things are not acceptable. But in addition to low ambitions, we have of course uh, a sense that financing is now not obligatory. There's almost a demand that the private sector put up financing. Now while that will have a role, fundamental solidarity requires for the poorest and most uh, affected nations that financing is delivered. And doing it now will cost much less than doing it down the track. The issue that really shocked us was uh, the lack of ambition around transformational uh, uh, technologies, technology sharing in particular, when we know every sector has to be transformed if we're to protect and secure the jobs of the future. And the, for the people, the very hope of just transition, the just transition measures that go beyond transformation to uh, income support to deployment and support of deployment of work, uh, reskilling, all of those issues, there are governments now questioning whether that should be on the agenda. So in a, in a nutshell, enough is enough. We're not leaving the process. We simply felt as civil society and trade unions that we had to say to our governments, you didn't send your negotiators here with serious mandates. You have to do better for Lima. And so, yes, you're not leaving the process, you're, you're uh, still staying around, you and the other groups will be re-engaging in, uh, in this uh, broader process? Absolutely. Even today, we hope to meet with the presidencies who will come out of the COP to talk to civil society and uh, trade union leaders. We know, and they know, that we must bring people with us. But our commitment now is to having made the protest stand, to mobilise people in every nation towards Lima because we have to hold our governments to account. And democracy, the voice of the people, is the only way to do that. And if governments don't strengthen their mandates, if they don't take climate action seriously, if they don't understand that the economic crisis will just be as serious as it is for us and for jobs and for the world's people, as serious as it is, it will just be a blip in the historical landscape if you overlay climate uh, devastation because they've done nothing. They don't understand this and come back to Lima with an intent to settle the basis for 2015, then we'll be there certainly and our voices will be heard right throughout the world.